Hey guys, let me hurry up and invite a few people on and then I will get started. All right, so I'm going to do this real quick actually, that way I don't get distracted. Oh, I cannot spell, that's okay. All right. All right, so, all right, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to do a Fire versus Isotoro. Um, I think Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild just um, released a Fire versus Ice collection. My hair is a little crazy today. Anyway, so I was like, I will try Fire versus Ice, kind of like um, Game of Thrones if you watch that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. And I haven't tried this out per usual, so I'm just gonna kind of wing it. All right, so I think I'm gonna do. I don't know. I think I'm. I'll do my eyes first. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows with. What am I going to use? All right. I'm going to go ahead and use eyeshadow. I also fixed my contour where it fell out yesterday. All right. I dropped it, and that's why it kind of broke a little. My dog here is the mailman, so there's that. All right. Ignore him. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. And then, so, I, okay, so like I was saying, I do, one side is going to be like red and like more of a warm tone. And the other is going to be like an ashy cool tone for the eyes. But my brows, I'm just doing the same. Hopefully he quits barking soon. I don't even know how he like, he doesn't even see anyone. There's literally no one for him to see. He's in the bedroom, so. Oh, there's another dog barking. Sorry. This doesn't keep freezing. I don't know why it would be freezing. Hey, Marissa. Um because the weather's fine, so. All right, so, I'm just doing my brows real quick. My dog's barking, everything's fine. He's going crazy. All right. So, I'm just going to fill these in a little. Try to make them even. He is not having a good time. It's fine. All right, so there's my brows. All right, then I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna do this side red, this side blue. I'm going to start with my eyeshadow. I'm going to be using my Jaclyn Hill palette, mostly just that one, because it does have a lot of colors, as a lot of the blues and reds, and a lot of um, warm and cool tones, so I'm gonna use that one. So first I'm going to start with my, um, base. I'm going to use my e.l.f. primer. Hopefully he stops barking. Cause... Nope. Still held the mermaid. Alright, so I'm just going to put this all over my entire eye. Eyes, actually. My eyes. And then just blend that in to make sure that it is actually Everywhere. I didn't even bring a mirror in here, so I'm just gonna have to do this in my phone. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I need my brushes over here. All right, so I'm going to use the fluffy side of my brush, and this one's gonna be the warm side. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up this color right here and put this in my crease and a little bit above. And blend that towards the center. And do windshield wipe motions for that, just to get a nice, um, some definition there. Then I'm going to go in with, what am I gonna use for my name? Okay, so I'm going to use this color right here. It's kind of like an orangey red. Hey, Sandy. And warm that up some. 
need a mirror. I'm gonna use this one. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the outer corner and up into the crease, but not as high as I did the other one. Just pat that and then do windshield wiper motions. And I haven't done my foundation yet, so if anything gets over here, I can just clean that up later. Put that back and forth in there. All right. And then I think I'm gonna put a little bit more of that brown that I started with right up higher. Up to my brow bone, and then I'll just lighten that with my highlighter but I want this to be super dramatic. All right, so then I'm going to take the smaller side. I wish this had a mirror, it's giant, it would be perfect. All right, I'll just put this on my lap. So I'm going to take, what color? Okay, so I'm gonna take, yeah, this color here, here, and I'm gonna put that on my lid. I'm going to concentrate that mostly on the inner and about three quarter ways out, not on my entire lid because I did just put that other matte shade. I'm just going to pat that on. It's going to look crazy at first because I don't have any other makeup on, but once I get everything done, it will pull it all together. I mean, I hope. I haven't done this, so... All right, so there is that one so far. All right, yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Now let me clean my brush a little. So I'm not mixing the blues and the reds too much as I'm going along. All right, so now I'm going to do the ice side over here. And I'm going to do this warmer, not warmer, cooler tone, these two here. Especially the one that's lighter. And just put that into my crease, up into my brow. And then I wasn't sure, because Halloween is like still two months away. I know that's a while. But since Halloween, decorations are already out in the store. People are getting their costumes ready. I mean, I have no idea what I'm doing yet for Halloween. They want it to be Pokemon, the kids and Chris. But I don't know about that. I guess we'll see. That could be some fun makeup, so I guess we could see. Maybe. All right, so I have that laid down all the way as my base. And then I'm going to go in with this blue color here for my crease and then this is going to be my lid shade all right so i'm going to take that matte turquoise color and put it right into my crease and in the outer corner i'm going to pat that on a little and then blend it out I want that a little higher because I have these perfect eyelash I what am I saying eyelids that's a joke actually they're not okay so yeah I want it to be up a little higher so that way it doesn't disappear into my crease so I'm gonna do that with my eye open a little bit that way I can see where it's actually gonna be once my eye is open okay so there's that one and then I need to dust this one off a little bit all right so then I'm going to take that shimmery color that I showed you and put that the first into the corner and about three quarters away out like I did with the other side
I'm just kind of patting it on because the shimmer shades in this one they work a lot better if you're not like swiping them around a lot all right so I'm just gonna blend these two together a little bit hey Amber so I'm just kind of getting started all right so that is my eyes for now going to wipe my brushes all right just to get some of this blue off because so I'm going to use these again later um, after I get my foundation and everything on, I'm going to do under there but first I'm actually going to take this color here and put that on my brow bone that way I don't forget to do that later on I'm going to put that on both sides just to have that nice pop of color. All right. And I do it from about here all the way down. And just mix that pop. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my foundation. Close this up for now, which is over here. Okay, so I'm going to use my mascara pen foundation obviously all right so I'm going to start with linen under my eyes and get all of this and then I'm also going to put that right into the um, corner here to cover up that purple that I have and I'm gonna drag this down and out here this will kind of clean up my line I'm just putting a little bit of this on um, that's um, acting as my concealer a little bit here and a little bit here. All right, so then I'm gonna go in with my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this brush. Okay, so I'm going to go in with, what color? I'm going to use Aura, and I'm gonna put this on the rest of my face. Kind of blend as I go. I turned off notifications. I always forget to do that. Hopefully that's not too annoying. But so I'm blending as I go and cleaning up that line. All right. This is just sticking out all crazy today. It's super red. Okay. So, blending this down my neck. All right, and then right on my forehead. Without blocking you guys, all right. And then I'm actually going to use Aura on my nose. And then I'm just going to take my perfecter here with some stay spray, which is setting spray. And just blend all of this in real quick. There he goes again. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit more linen under in this corner right here. So I do have this dark circle thing. All right. So I'm just going to blot that there. All right. So there's that. 
I want to make sure I get that blended really well. All right, so, and then since I'm going to contour with the um, red and blue today, I'm not going to put on regular contour, but I'm going to set with paper, paper, powder, because I'm going to use powder contour. All right, so I'm going to kind of put this all over my face. And this is just the translucent for the shade. Oh, I got a lot of that. All right, so I'm gonna take my damp sponge and I'm gonna use a lot of this. All right, so I'm gonna put this right under my eyes. That way that will set that. Right under where, where I contour normally. Actually, I'm just gonna do the whole thing. That way it doesn't get kind of stuck. Where the cream is, that way it'll blend better. Because when you want to use a powder contour over a cream foundation, you want it to blend. And if you just put it right over the powder, I mean the cream, it might not really blend that well. I'm just gonna put this everywhere. And then I'm going to use my big fluffy brush to dust it off. What you doing, Cam? Yeah. All right, hopefully this brush. Mommy, I need you. All right, is that poor connection? That's me too. Do you like yeah, it? Yeah. yeah? All right, so I don't know what was going on with that. Because I should have a pretty good connection. So hopefully it's good on your end. Mommy, okay. I got stoves. All right. Oh, you do? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go in with the contour. Because I don't have powder on my shirt. All right, so I'm going to use my detail hack brush and for the red side I'm going to use I don't know okay so I'm going to try to go in with this color right here if you can see yeah you can see I can't see because of the comments okay so hopefully this isn't too crazy Cam. all right so let's see how this works. All right, so this is where I would normally contour. Oh. My eyes and yours. I'm just going to slowly start bringing this up. I see, buddy. And I'm just going to do. This side I'm here. So. Hopefully this blends really well. Otherwise, this will be a Pinterest fit. All right. And then just a little bit under here. So if you haven't, if you don't already know how to contour, this is the placement. This kind of yeah, shows you yeah. perfectly. Oh, All right. Well, so I'm going to start blending this I in. Know, I want it to kind of go into my hairline. Like Let's see. This Alright, let me try to blend this out a little so it's not so harsh. Kind of looks like a bruise. Alright. So I'm going to have to clean all of these before I do the blue side. But I think it's turning out okay so far. Alright. 
I need to scooch this a little this way. All right, so I have more space, so I'm not gonna clean my brushes. All right, move my tea out of the way. All right, there is a lot going on here. All right, so I'm going to leave that a little sharp, but I'm going to go ahead. I hear you, buddy. I'm gonna go ahead and add this color right here, which is kind of a little bit of a shimmer. I'm gonna use that kind of as a blush, I guess. All right, I told you I do. I kind of do this, make this up as I go when I do these kinds of tutorials. So we're winging it. All right, so I'm gonna put this on about where I would put on blush. Oh, this is going to be super intense. All right, so I want to dry this down a little. And kind of blend this up into there. Put a little bit of this up here. All right. If you're watching, let me know. It's I don't know if it's not showing comments or if they're aren't any comments yet so if you're watching let me know that way I can see if I can actually um if comments are showing up you can play with those just be careful buddy all right so here is this one so far let me hear and like quickly spray these brushes real quick and then I will get started on the other side and I still have to do like highlighter and all that so we are not done yet. All right, just need to clean these off a little. Maybe away from my tea. All right, that way I can use these for the other side. All right. Cam, can you be a little quieter? All right, so, oh, I think, no, this is good. Okay, so I'm going. Put her head on. What happened to her head? Maybe he's messing his head. Oh, there it is. All right. All right. Maybe got her head back on. All right. So for the other side, there's not a lot of blues in this palette. All right. I might have to just go in with a dark one. Ooh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to start with a little bit of a brown and then put this blue over it. So I'm going to start with, ooh, what do I want to do? I'm going to just start with this brown right here and then I'll add the blue and see what we can do with this side. All right, so I'm going to stamp it on and this is really light. I just want to kind of make an outline for myself before I get started. That way this will blend a little better so it's not just that super dark blue. This will give me a little bit to go off of. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead in with that dark blue and hopefully this doesn't look super crazy. We'll see. Okay, hi Heidi. All right, let me just start down here and see. Oh, okay. Not bad. All right. Cam. Cam. All right. Let me... Okay. Okay. So then this is working. All right. Going to slowly build this up. Cam decided to come play. Hey. So, let me move this hair out of the way a little bit. All right, I'm going to blend this. This kind of shows up purple a little bit, so I'm probably gonna add a little bit of that blue that I used on my eyes.
just to make it a little make it look a little more icy. Alright, so that is a good base, I think. I'm gonna go in with this this matte blue that I do, did on my eyelids. Oh, of course the phone is ringing. Yeah. Shut that door. All right. Blend that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use that light blue to really don't throw things, buddy. Lighten this up because this is dark. All right. There we go. And then I'll kind of blend that out so it's not so straight. All right. Blend this in a little. What you doing, buddy? I think I need this as a TV. Yeah? No, it's a TV. Oh, Hopefully that's not too distracting. Where did I put my blush brush? Oh, right here. All right, so I'm gonna use this brush with that blue um, spark shimmer shade and try to lighten this up and add some ice to it. I'm also gonna use highlighter, so that will help with that. Make it a little bit more icy. All right. Wipe that a little. And then I'm going to add a little bit of powder right here just to blend that. All right. So far, so good. All right. So I'm going to use the highlighters in my. Um, Carly Bible palette. I'm going to use this gold one over here for the fire side, and I'm going to use this white one over here for the ice side. All right. I'm going to use my blush brush. Cam. Shh. All right. Yeah. And then I'm just going to buff this on top of that. And blend that. Oh, actually, I'm gonna use a cream one first. That way it'll pop a little more. So I'm gonna use my honey illuminator. And sit that there. That way it will make it pop a little more. So I'm going to take that gold highlighter and, oh yeah, that made it pop. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to put this up here. All right, dust this off a little bit. And then I'm going to use the pearl illuminator, which is this white one right here on the other side. And right here. I did this on the day I needed to wash my hair because I know this is going to get all up in my hairline. Alright, so I'm going to use the white one for this side. Oh yeah, that brings the ice factor. Oh yeah, we are getting places now. Okay, let me just kind of. 
kind of blend that all over that one. Put a little bit more gold and blend that one out. So it will be equally as shiny. All right, so now that I'm done with that part and I have powder set, put my foundation under my eyes. Cam, shh, okay. I'm gonna take my Jaclyn Hill palette and go ahead and finish my eyes. Where are you, eyeshadow brush? I keep losing things. Well, there it is. All right. You've seen the train table in the playroom. All right, so I'm going to take that matte orangey red that I used for reference. This color is I'm going to use under the fire side, and I'm using this color under the ice side. Cam. Shh. All right. I'm just going to line my lower lash line with it. School starts for Cam in like less than two weeks. So once he's in school, I'm going to be doing my videos while he's in school. Okay. So there's that one. Let me wipe this one. I don't have any red. All right, it's clean. Let me do, I'm doing that aquamarine matte color on the bottom. And blend that all the way to the outer edge here. And then on the inner corner, I'm going to use the same metallic shades I used on the top. And just on the inner section, right, not even halfway in from the inner eye. And the same thing on the other side with that metallic blue, just right here. All right, and then I'm going to take the um, highlighters that I used for my rest of my face, and that's what I'm gonna use on the inner corner. So for this one, I'm going to use that gold shade from my Carly Bible palette. And these highlighters aren't that great. So I'm actually going to take my cream illuminator with my finger, because this has some pretty good pigment, pigment, and dust that in there, just to use that as a base like I did for the rest of my face. And then I'm gonna use Pearl, which is a white one, on this side. To lighten that up. All right, so. And go that with that gold. Hey, Brittany. So I'm gonna take this gold. One minute, buddy. So I'm gonna put that gold. Yeah, that makes it pop a lot more. And then the white on the other side. You have to give me a minute, buddy. Just to lighten that up. All right, I gotta get Elsa dressed. Oh, she's wearing. Strapless. All right. Okay. So let me. There you go, buddy. All right. So I need to do my mascara and I'm going to do my lips still. But so far, I think the rest. I need some dry shampoo in my hair. All right. So I think the rest is turning out okay so far. Okay. Let me know what you think. If I need to do. If you have any suggestions. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes and you guys know I don't do falsies on camera because it takes me 15 minutes and nobody wants to watch that so I'm just going to oh curl my lashes all right I'm going to use 
All right, I guess I brought this one in. So I'm gonna use my Flower Beauty, what is this called? Three-way brush mascara. All right. And it has like different sides here. I'm just gonna wipe this off a little. I like to use this side here um, first for length and to get them separated. And then I use the other side for volume. Mommy. Mommy. Oh, buddy. Look at this. I'm trying to put a lot on Mommy. because this is really dramatic and Mommy. I'm not really going to. Oh, buddy, I need you to give me just a minute, okay? Give me a minute. I might. Um, for my pictures that I'm going to take after, I might pop on some falsies, maybe. Yeah, because this one's not that great, and this is the only one I brought in. All right. And pop on, I mean, do it in the bathroom. Not on live. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know how you feel about this mascara, and this is the only one I brought in with me. I've also had it for a couple months, so, but I don't know, it's kind of thick. All right. I'm going to love it. I want to love flower beauty stuff. I just don't. This one's super clumpy. All righty. Let me just try to work this one out. I don't love it. I don't like it all. I thought I grabbed another one. All right, I'm just going to use this brush to get some of the clumps out. Because I just, ugh, I don't love this. All right. All right, so... I'm probably going to put falsies on once I'm done with this video because I don't like this mascara. Yeah. Not really. Okay, so. That's it's so that. clumpy. I don't know yeah. why. Yeah, so I don't recommend this <laughs> mascara. And yeah, it's the only one I have. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and do under my line here. And hopefully this will work better on my lower lashes than it did my regular lashes. Don't mind my background noise. Cam is playing and watching YouTube. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna have to put falsies on after. Okay. Where is? Okay, so let me. Yeah, this mascara. Don't love it. Okay, so just clean this up a little down here. All right. And for the other side. Okay, so it worked on the bottom. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of that for now yeah so I'm going to probably put falsies on or like do another mascara because I really like like this one so Cam Shh. okay so for lipsticks for the red side I'm going to use red obviously for the fire side all right so I'm going to actually line it um, with sandstone and then I'm going to use scarlet for the intersection all right so I keep getting messages from other people in mascara. I think they're talking about a conference. So I'm gonna have to read that after. All right, so. Lining, I need to use this. So I can see, cause comments are in my way. Okay, so I wish this 
But I had this in one that was one layer, so I can see the mirror. Okay, so. I'm putting Sandstone as my liner. Which is kind of like a maroon. Cam, can you whisper? I don't need to This is a Alright. So I'm using that as my liner. And I'm just going to use this single layer one for my lipstick. Okay, so bringing this on in the middle. And it's so weird only doing half your lips. Let me try to get just the one side. Oh, I have an idea for what I'm going to put over this. Okay. Wait one second. Kind of blend the two together. Alright, so there's that so far. Uh, wipe this right off, although I don't think I'm going to need that. Okay, so I'm going to actually use, I don't have blue lipstick. So I have this um, L'Oreal Infallible Paint Liquid Eyeliner. I'm going to try that. Hopefully this doesn't move any. Let me put a little bit of powder right under my lips so I'm not smearing lipstick everywhere. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to do that for now. If you can hear my stomach rumbling, it's because it's lunchtime and I'm hungry. All right. So let's try this out. Yeah, I can work with this. Okay. My teeth are not perfect, so I'm just going to go with where my teeth are for the middle. Your Legos are over there, Cam. All right. Let me know what you think so far. If you've managed to get this far in my video. I really like this eyeliner. I don't really use it that often. It's really smooth okay so I wonder if they have any like black I don't really wear eyeliner especially not blue oh excuse me all right so that's like a weird like stomach growl okay but anyways yeah I don't really wear eyeliner especially not blue so I think this came in what did this come in like a Walmart beauty box maybe um, yeah. Or influencer. So, influencer. So All right, so this is kind of hard. Okay. Why does this look look bigger? What is going on? Okay. No. Now it looks symmet sym symmetrical. All right, so yeah, I'm going definitely going to put on falsies because this mascara is driving me crazy. All right, so questions, if anybody's still here. Um, 
Should I put glitter over my lips? Yes or no? Let me know while I touch this up real quick. Okay, yeah, let me, I might put glitter. Glitter, no glitter, let me know. I need opinions. Or I'm just gonna put glitter. What should I do? So, mm -mm -mm. I think I'm gonna go with glitter. I also need to put a little bit of highlighter on my nose. It's, it's sticking out there since there's no highlighter on it. So, I guess I will do. Oh, I cannot read, wait to read that message because it seems like a lot of stuff's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna take and try to do two different highlighters on my nose. So, for this side, I'm gonna put a little bit of gold. I'm not contouring my nose, I'm just putting a little bit of glitter. Put it all down the side of my nose. There we go. All right, last call on the lips. Mm, all right. So I think I'm gonna put some glitter on it. Actually. Should I? Should I not? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe not. Yeah. I think I'm gonna stick with no glitter. Yeah, no glitter. I'm just talking myself down. All right. So I'm yeah I'm gonna go do something with these lashes because this mascara it's also getting really loud in the background. This mascara is not that great. Okay. Oops, slitter it on my hand. Okay, so sorry for rambling. Anyways, this is the one side. This is the other minus lashes. I will post that picture in just a minute. Thanks for keeping me company. Thanks. Bye.